of Mint Strike 1999 Susan B. Anthony dollars? Yes. Well, believe it or not, we finally ran out of the 79 and 80 uh, Susan B. Anthony's that were produced at the beginning of that run. And it took a long time to do it. They sat around in the vaults at the Fed and the banks for many, many years. But <clears throat> part of our effort in leading up to the launch of the Golden Dollar was to um, expand the commercial use of the dollar coin. And what we saw was that that began to happen even before uh, the golden dollar was released. And lo and behold, we discovered our, <clears throat> our coin forecast indicated that we might run out before we even launched the golden dollar. And we couldn't speed up that production schedule because of all the technical difficulties with uh, the golden dollar. Uh, not difficulties, but the complications. And so we had to go into a run in 1999 and produce more Susan B. Anthony's, which I love because, you know, it's another, it's not a rarity, but it's an unusual coin to find. So one of the most fascinating aspects of the rollout of the Susan B. or the uh, Sacagawea dollar was the private-public partnership that you, you developed with Walmart yes. to get them to distribute the coin. Why was that necessary to yeah. get the coin out in the public? Yeah, fascinating and controversial. I, uh, <clears throat> we did a lot of market research in preparation for the launch of the Golden Dollar. We knew it would not be uh, an easy sell. Uh, Susan B. Anthony was a fiasco, frankly. And uh, I was very intent on learning the lessons of the Susan B. Anthony failure and applying them in the golden dollar. Now, we knew, and it's still the case, that a dollar coin will never successfully circulate unless the dollar bill is withdrawn from circulation. That has been the experience worldwide when a high denomination coin has been issued to replace or compete with a low denomination bill. And the legislation didn't do that with a golden dollar. The dollar bill would be uh, in circulation. So we needed to have a coin that would get into circulation. And the sole means of getting coins into circulation is through the Federal Reserves to the banks. So we sat down with the Federal Reserve and the banks and said, okay, what do we need to do to make this successful? And the banks said, well, <clears throat> we don't really want to order the coin until you can prove to us that there's public demand for it. And we scratched our heads and said, how are we supposed to prove that the public wants this coin if we can't get it to them? And so we were left with that dilemma. So I decided the best thing to do was to go find an alternative route into the marketplace to get these coins. And I knew, we knew from our market research, but also from our gut, that this coin was going to be very popular because of the design, the uniqueness of it, the story behind it. And so I had two targets, one McDonald's and the other was Walmart. I figured if we can get one of them to pick it up and distribute it, it will get out in the market. We'll be able to prove to the banks that it's popular and in demand. And Walmart stepped up first. And we struck a deal in which we were <clears throat> going to ship to them, I think it was 150 million coins over a period of about like two months. Now that's a huge number of dollar coins. Um, and especially from the perspective of the Susan B. Anthony, it took years for the Susan B. Anthony to get that many in circulation. And so we shipped them to uh, like 3,500 Walmart and Sam Club stores all over the country in late January 2000. And people lined up at the store doors and their allotment of coins were gone in a matter of days or a few weeks. Um, when people couldn't get the coin at the Walmart anymore, they went to their banks and say, you know, oh, we want the coin, and the banks didn't have it. And 
Uh, the reason why they didn't have it, they had the opportunity to order it, but they hadn't ordered it. And so, but they like to point their fingers at the mint and say the mint gave a preferential deal to Walmart. So, you know, customers complain, the bankers called Federal Reserve, Treasury Department. So there was a lot of controversy over it, but it accomplished exactly the goal we were seeking to accomplish. Got the coin into the hands of the public and it demonstrated that the public not only would accept it, but would go out of their way and stand in line at Walmart in order to get it. Um, so that was a big accomplishment. In the first year, we circulated more Susan B. Anthony's in the first year than, I mean, golden dollars in the first year than uh, Susan B. Anthony's in the entire 20 year history of the Susan B. Anthony. The conventional wisdom is that the golden dollar was a failure. It was not a failure in the first year. It was a huge success. But um, the momentum behind it petered out. There wasn't enough uh, commitment at the mint, uh, at the top level of the mint, to overcome the resistance, frankly, at the Federal Reserve and the banks. And so it went the way of other dollar coins.